me fight these bastards off. Take out these bastards while I think they did it all. I, I think they are just about to breach the inner walls. Follow me. I'm going to go check it out. doors and up the stairs. Find where they are coming in and stop them. I'll be keeping an eye on the cameras down here. Hurry!
hunger. Death to the unenlightened! Him off that hole. Hurry and get in here. Looks like they're about to breach from the east wing.
Hurry, get in there before more of them come out. Find where they're coming from and stop them. Just like before, I'll be keeping an eye.
That's one less way for them to get in. Follow me. I think we're about to get hit hard. Yeah, here they come. Grab all the ammo and stim packs you need. This is gonna be a rough one. If you have any minds, now's the time to use them. They could come in through any of the boarded up doors. Eat the 
Oh, my hero. Think you came in and rescued me right in the nick of time? Not hardly. Had it all well in hand, and I didn't even need to use the failsafe. But that would have done a real number on some of the paintings, so just as well you were here. Anyway, name's Desmond. The type that kills everyone outside of my safe room and leaves a hell of a mess to clean up. Standard type. Not worth wasting on ignorant savages like them, honestly. Just as well you came along when you did. So, tell you what I'll do. I'll share a few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic final stand. Not a fucking clue. It'd be easy to chalk it up to their crazy religion. But if I'm right, and I always am, there's something else going on. That's the third attack in a month, so somebody's got a grudge with me. Whether it's a man or a god, I intend to set them straight. I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could introduce myself. Damned if I know, it was abandoned when I got here. There's plenty hidden away here. None of it would be useful to a bunch of crazed inbreds. They're brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit. What's to know? I'm here on my own business. You wouldn't understand it even if I tried to explain it to you. I don't know why anyone would bother with this shithole. It's filled with a bunch of disgusting inbreds and half-crazed loons. I'm gonna do what I came to do, and then get the fuck out of here. Now hold on there. Not so fucking fast. You can be useful to me. I need someone willing to get their hands dirty. So here's the deal. I help you get in with those tribals, you help me get what I want, and I'll make you fucking rich. Just try not to sprain a lobe while you're thinking about it. My time is short. You need to learn to pay attention when I speak. Those mud lovers want me dead, and haven't extended the common fucking courtesy of telling me why. So, I need you to find a way into their commune and figure out what's going through their addled little heads. Be a good pup, and old Desmond will give you a treat. And of course, who knows what riches they have for you to steal. Easy peasy. Right about now, they'll be wondering what happened to their hunting party. These are people who think cutting a hole in their skull can expand their mind. They're not exactly scholars over there. Just head up to the cathedral and ask real nice. When you're in, you'll find the bastard in charge and find out what they're up to. I just need information. No need for violence. Yet. My story? Tell you what, kid. My story's a lot like a death clause tongue. It's long, messy, and you don't want to get too personal with it. Understand? Suffice it to say, I have business in Point Lookout. If you help, you will be repaid for your efforts. That's all you want to fucking know. I've been around for a long goddamn time. The last time I knew a bird named Nadine, I still had skin. There was some girl who came nosing around here a few weeks back, but she ran off before I could introduce myself. They're brainless morons who worship some crazy spirit. What's to know? What's the difference between you and me, kid? What makes a gifted killer like yourself into a rock-hard bastard like me? The answer is training, you ignorant fuck! I've got a hundred years of experience on you, and don't you forget it. Stick by me and you'll get a master's class in doing what has to be done. Back to business.
it is good to... I knew that's why you came.
is a hazardous area. For your own safety, please vacate the premises. Clearance acknowledged. Follow me for your extraction debriefing, comrade. Threshold of transcendence. What's this? A humble traveler seeking the guidance of our awakened minds. Truly, this is a glorious day. You are from far away and must be strong indeed to have traveled this far. But strength is nothing without the guidance of the enlightened mind. If you seek entry, you must be prepared to expand your consciousness. You must prove yourself worthy to transcend. You may not be so brave when you face the ritual of the Mother Seed. Stronger souls than you have attempted it and lost their minds. Venture west to the Great Bog, and within you shall find the Mother of all hunger fruit. She stands taller than a man, and her vines guide our future. Collect her seeds and kneel before her wisdom. Only then will you be ready to enter these sacred halls. Good thing, sweetie. Tonics brewed and bottled. Here's your pay and a cut of the batch. Enjoy it. You're an eager one, ain't you? I have to let the still air out a few days between brews. Check back with me later. Don't be a stranger now.
no, no, don't, don't try and get up yet. You only hurt yourself. Truly, the Mother Panga has bestowed her wisdom upon you, and your mind has been expanded. That is merely the sensation of your consciousness rushing to embrace its true potential. It is the feeling of having no boundaries, no limits. Yea, though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcome in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened brother. We espouse the expansion of the perfect mind and the rejection of the corrupt physical. The material world is destroyed and imperfect. We seek to release our minds from their tainted cages so as to find a better world. Leader, that would be Jackson. A man of great wisdom. He has withdrawn to his cavern of communion. The better to contemplate the unknowable. Only the righteous are trusted to know where this nexus of understanding lies. And alas, I am not so blessed. Alas, only the worthy may enter his nexus of meditation. He has not seen fit to enlighten me. Our most enlightened one divined that the fates themselves did decree the mansion must be burnt to the ground. It is a gift from the earth itself, in acknowledgement of our perfect balance with nature and the higher planes. She recognizes that we seek to leave behind the corrupt physical, and she nurtures us in our quest. Blessings to you on your journey. You are new, and you are welcome. I am Croa Toa. I am not so new. Not here. We dream. Dream of a better world. Not falling apart like ours. And when we find a dream that makes us forget this world, we dream that we do not have to wake up. Look to Jackson. He is the one who knows. 
But do not strain to see him here. Jackson is away. That hill is holy. It must be cleared. Jackson told us this. Some went to fight. I stayed with Ponga. Ponga does not fight. Ponga grows where it can. Ponga knows what is important. Blessings to you on your journey. Escape. Rest a while. Escape to the mind. <sighs> Looks like another newbie in the tribe. And still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? Hey now, I might still be ten kinds of crazy. You don't even know me, and you can't tell just from looking. I could be friendly till she stabs you in the neck kind of crazy. Then where'd you be, smart Alec? All surprised and stabbed, that's where. <laughs> but I'm not a vegetable, so I'm sane enough. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. It's just... I came out here to find a fortune, to make my mark, to be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually, just not quite yet. Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so much. I thought joining would be all drugs and magic, but it's just the same crap as everywhere else. Guess that's why I trailed Jackson to his stupid mystery cave. I only been here a week or so, but I'm about ready to ditch this bunch of dummies. I already stole all the punga I could ever need. Hey, you still want to know where Jackson's hiding? I can help you out. No reason for me to give a damn about this place, you know? His cave's under the cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. You're a lucky one, and it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own, and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now hold still, and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was all Jackson's crazy idea. I knew better than to volunteer for that suicide mission. Last time I wandered too close to that mansion, some old ghoul sick 
whipped his dogs on me. Screw that. It's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. I'm gonna go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. What is this, a date? You start making a move and it's stabbing time. What? There's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Something troubles you? Be well. My peace. Travels, young one. infiltrated those tribals yet? And you didn't go track him down and grill him for information? I'm not your daddy. Don't waste your time checking in. Go find him and figure out what he wants with this place, you moron. Back to business. Thank you. 
unburden your mind. To my extraordinary safari. Shall we get you registered? Only the finest bit of sport you've ever enjoyed. Once we review the rules and see to a nominal thousand caps registration fee, of course. I've found that price keeps the riffraff out. You aren't riffraff now, are you? Ah, uh, but of course. What would you like to know? The participants, uh, that's you. Assemble in the arena. Once you've made your preparations, signal me with the button inside to begin the hunt. I'll remotely release a group of ferals against which you must defend yourself. Don't worry, I'll make sure there aren't too many loose at one time. You're in for quite a treat, if I do say so myself. Not an option, I'm afraid. The thrill wouldn't be the same if you knew I'd release you at the first sign of trouble, now would it? Weapons are your own responsibility, sir. I'm sure you have your own preferences, after all. On with the act. Have I tried to chew on your skull, sir? Perhaps you've noticed my ability to string words into complete sentences. These ferals are nothing like myself. I'm no more a monster for providing them than you are for slaughtering them. As you please.
go past the Look what we have here! No need to worry, Enlighten. Yes, fellow Seeker? We are a family of dreamers, a band of astral explorers, and a church of the mind. In time, we will be free of the horrors of the base physical world. We will play amongst the pure thoughts of the universe. We take no pleasure in violence. Our goal was merely to remove the ghoul his presence is an offense to the Transcendent Master's astral dominion. I cannot claim to understand the exact reasons that the mansion's resident caused such disruption, however. To understand fully, ask the Master. I know it may seem that I am a brave shepherd to my flock, but the truth is far more humble. I am nothing more than the largest fish in our school. As we swim through the astral seas, Exploring, learning, and becoming one. But we are not swimming aimlessly. No, we have a beacon. 
The shining mind speaks to me in my meditations and guides us always. Be well. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Him. I should have known. My old rival, so close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced them to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Calvert is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. I knew he was here, and it is my intent to find him, and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? You're goddamn right I am. Now let's get on with the work, shall we? So, those half-wits are getting messages from the professor, right? So he's off somewhere, broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find this squishy little worm and finish him off for good. If I know the professor, he's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up that little worm's talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point around and install it. Easy, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now, go! Just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals, and let us wander back, all in exchange for punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sort of. Yeah, he seemed nice enough, didn't he? 
I wouldn't have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Well, there's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Now that I've got this sweet boat, I guess I can head back home. For a while, anyway. Just wait till Mom sees the haul I'm bringing home. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. Look what we have here. We having fun yet? Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. <laughs> 